Hello everyone, this is Kevin from Edureka and welcome to this video on how to become an AI engineer. Lately, AI has become an overarching need of all industries and the world has experienced some previously unimaginable applications of AI. If you search the internet, you'll find various definitions of AI, but they are all centered around the idea of giving computers and machines the ability to make human-like decisions. So, an AI engineer is someone who brings the concept of AI to life in some form or the other. But we aren't here to talk about what AI is. So let's quickly see what this video is all about. First up, we will see why become an AI engineer by taking a look at the demand for AI, the job opportunities in the field of AI and the salaries of those jobs. So you can discern for yourself whether this is something that is worth your time and whether you like it or not. Next up, we'll talk about what does an AI engineer do by taking a look at things like roles and responsibilities and skills required by skimming through a few job descriptions and finding out what the common denominator of the skills are. Next, we'll build a roadmap in how to become an AI engineer so that you can evaluate where you stand and what road you need to take. And finally, we'll give you some useful resources to help you get started. If you like our video, then do not forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Edureka YouTube channel. Additionally, if you are looking for a certification in artificial intelligence, check out the links in the description below. All right, let's continue with the video. So let's dive into the first section, which is why become an AI engineer. We're gonna break it down into three components. The first one is the demand for AI. We'll see some facts and figures here. Next one is job opportunities. We'll see some figures of currently available jobs and who's hiring. And the third one is salaries. We'll take a look at what AI engineers tend to make when they are starting out. Okay, first up, the demand. AI market worth in 2020 was around 30 billion US dollars and it is forecasted to rise at a whopping 35.6% compounded annual growth rate which is unprecedented for any industry and it's going to rise to 300 billion US dollars by the year 2026. AI engineering has found its way in all sorts of industries and applications of it can be seen in industries such as IT, transportation, finance, manufacturing, aerospace, medical, pharmaceutical, and more. AI has been helping businesses make better decisions, which is giving them competitive edge in the market. It is also predicted that by the year 2030, 9% of all unskilled and low-skilled jobs like data entry, receptionist, customer service executives, drivers, etc. are going to be taken over by AI. This signifies that if we are to embrace AI fully, then it is of utmost importance that we understand the basics of AI and how the whole world is being transformed by it. Let's now move on to the next part of the section, which is job opportunities. In India, there are over 19,200 AI engineer jobs and in the United States, that number is 30,400. So you might be wondering, Who's hiring all of these AI engineers? Well, all the big names in their respective industries such as Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, Autodesk, IBM, Nvidia, Intel, and a zillion more companies, small all the way to large multinational corporations are hiring AI engineers as everybody's looking to the future. All right, let's now move on to the moment that you all have been waiting for. Let's discuss the salaries. The numbers that you see on the screen are just the average base salaries. They don't include things like incentives, bonuses, allowances, benefits, and so on. Also, AI engineers that have been working in the field for over 5 years are making 15 to 30 lakhs for India and well over $200,000 in United States. Those are some darn good figures. Let's now talk about what does an AI engineer do? In a nutshell, AI engineer builds and trains AI models and systems that can process usually enormous chunks of data, for example, cloud data sets, to produce vital results that can help anyone make smart decisions. And to accomplish that, they use machine learning algorithms and deep learning neural networks. So let's now dig a little deeper on what they do on a daily basis by taking a look at some of the roles and responsibilities 
They study and transform data science prototypes and select appropriate data sets and data representation methods. Next, they're responsible for developing machine learning applications according to requirements with APIs so that it could be used by other applications in the organization to make better decisions. They're also in charge of researching and implementing appropriate machine learning algorithms and artificial intelligence tools. Next, they run machine learning and artificial intelligence tests and experiments and they train and retrain systems when necessary. In some forms of industries, they're also responsible for working with electronic engineers and robotic teams to make sure that the product is evolving properly and it's doing what it's intended to do. They also keep abreast the latest developments in the field of AI. Okay guys, let's move on to the next one which is skills required. We're going to take a look at a couple of job descriptions that will help you understand what kind of skills are required. So the first one here is from Apple. So guys, you can pause your screen if you wish to read the whole thing, but I'm just going to give you a gist of the whole thing. So there's emphasis on bachelor's or master's degree in computer science or related field. They should have experience in machine learning algorithms and AI, data mining, distributed machine learning architectures, networking, statistics, linear algebra, and so on. They should be able to understand and implement software development lifecycle, and they should have exposure to A-B testing. Next one is from EY. Again, pause your screen if you want to read. Here's the emphasis. The candidate should know machine learning development and infrastructure. They should also know big data and cloud-based architectures. They should know programming languages such as Java and Python, and they should know the important algorithms in machine learning and artificial intelligence. They should also know big data tools like Spark, and they should be able to communicate complex models to business stakeholders. The last one we are taking a look at is from Oracle. The candidate should have a bachelor's or master's degree in computer science, mathematics, AI or machine learning or related field. They should have one high level language such as Java or Scala and one scripting language such as Python or JavaScript. They should know the machine learning algorithms. They should be well versed in statistics and mathematical models. They should know the big data technologies such as Spark, Hadoop and so on. And they should also have experience working with the cloud. Okay guys, let's take a brief moment to talk about where some of the challenges that learners face when it comes to getting started. You know, different companies have different requirements. So for a learner, there's a lot of confusion surrounding how to get started and what would to take to get their dream job. And influenced by such requirements, they can set out on a path that leaves holes in their education and skills so they become less confident and don't obtain their dream job. Well, we are here to alleviate that because your success is our success quite literally. So with that being said, let's put together a list of skills that you will require. Okay, so first you should be good at programming skills. So it's important to know one programming language such as Python, Java, R or C++. It's also useful to know a scripting language like JavaScript or Python. Next, they should be good at math. When I say that, it means they should have a good grasp of linear algebra, calculus, statistics, and probability. Next, they should also learn machine learning algorithms such as linear regression, KNN, naive Bayes, support vector machines, and others. And they should know how to use machine learning libraries and platforms like TensorFlow. Next, they should learn natural language processing in it. You should know how to process text, audio, or video using libraries like Gensim, NLTK, and techniques like word to vec sentimental analysis, and so on. Next, they should learn deep learning and neural networks by learning algorithms like convolutional neural network, recurrent neural network, and generative adversarial network, and implement them using a framework like TensorFlow, PyTorch, or others. And finally, they should know big data technologies like Spark. AI engineers usually work with large volumes of data that could be in terabytes or even petabytes. 
And to make sense of such a humongous volume of data, they need to know Apache Spark or other big data technologies such as Hadoop, Cassandra, or MongoDB. Along with that, they should also know cloud services like AWS, GCP, Azure. Okay, so with skills out of the way, let's see how to become an AI engineer. Okay, so here's the roadmap. First, you should have a formal education in computer science, mathematics, information technology, finance, or economics, like we discussed earlier. Then it's time to hone your technical skills, such as programming skills, software development, life cycle, modularity, object-oriented programming, classes and objects, statistics and mathematics. You can hone your skills by teaching others what you've learned. And so going up to GitHub and solving problems for other programmers and so on. Next, learn essential technologies and concepts like big data and cloud services. This is going to be the platform on which you will build your specialization in artificial intelligence. Next, yes, it is time to get specialized in artificial intelligence and machine learning by getting a master's or certifications that will help you get there. So obviously here you're going to be learning about machine learning algorithms and deep learning and neural networks. And finally, combining all of these skills and knowledge, you're going to be building some hands-on demos and projects that will help you stand out from the crowd of applicants. And once you have all of this down, it's time to apply for your dream job. Hope this was clear enough for you and you can evaluate yourself to find out where you stand on this roadmap and so that you can continue on to your dream job. Let me give you some useful resources to help you get started. So first resource is of course our YouTube channel where we have abundance of full length tutorials on all of various technologies and tools that will help you on your journey to become an AI engineer. You can also check out our blogs where we have tutorials where you can follow along to learn all of these tools as well. But if you're someone who needs a little bit of help, then we have amazing postgraduate diploma master's program, training certifications, and courses just for you. I want to close off by telling you that our alumni are working for amazing companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Cisco, Dell, KPMG, and many more. Don't worry, we're going to leave the links for all of these programs, courses, and trainings down in the description so that you can check them out if interested. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!